All right, I have 1,968 divided by six. So 1,968 in the house divided by six on the outside. I'm going to bring the walls down. All right, again, we're gonna do our multiples. I would do six times one, and that would be a dash. Six times one is six. That is obviously too big. We cannot go above the one. So since I have a one here, I would have to do one dot, one unit. I have no dashes at all. So because there are no dashes, I cannot put a number above. So I would bring this unit one, I only have one, pull it over, cross off the nine and drop it down behind the one. So now I will have to do my multiples of six as close to 19 as I can without going over. Six times one is six, six times two is 12, six times three is 18. And then I can't multiply anymore. So I'm at 18 and then one dot is 19. I have three dashes. So I write a three in the quotient. I have one dot. I'm going to bring it over to this lane, one. I cross off the six. I drop it behind the one. I'm going to do my multiples of six as close to 16 as I can get without going over. Six times one is six, times two is eight, uh, 12. And I cannot do three because that would be 18. So I'm at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have two dashes, so two goes in the quotient. I have four dots, so four goes into the next lane. I cross off the eight and bring the eight down behind the four. Now I'm going to be doing my multiples of six. I'm trying to get as close as I can to 48 without going over. Six times one is six times two, 12, times three, 18, times four, 24, times five is 30, times six, 36, times seven is 42, times eight is 48. Let me count all of my dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight dashes. And I six times eight is 48, right on the nose, so I don't have any dots. So 1,968 divided by six is 328. All right, our next problem will be 254 divided by three. 254 goes in the house and the three is on the outside. I'm going to bring my walls down. All right, if I do my multiples of three, I would multiply three times one and that is three. That is too large. So instead I have to do my units. That would be one unit and two unit because I have two in here. So no, dot, no dashes, only dots. So no dash. The two dots, pull it over to the side, cross off the five, drop it behind the two. All right, I'm going to be doing my multiples of three, getting as close to 25 as I can without going over. Three times one is three, times two is six, times three is nine, times four is 12, times five is 15, times six is 18, times seven is 21, times eight is 24. That's as close as I can get, and then one dot, 25. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dashes. Put an eight in the quotient. I have one dot. I'm going to pull it over to the side, cross off the four, and drop it behind the one. I'm going to be doing my multiples of three as close as 14 as I can get without going over. Three times one is three, times two is six, times three is nine, times four is 12. 13 and 14. I have four dashes. That goes in the quotient. I have two dots remaining. So I would put an R right here for a remainder and then the two for the remaining two dots. All right, this one is the bonus math problem right here. This would be a kind of problem that would really trip you up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this to you in hopes that you can look back and if you have a problem that's going to trip you up, that this would probably be the kind of problem that would do it. So it's 2,000 
408 divided by four. The, the zeros typically trip people up. So we're gonna go ahead and see how this plays out when we're doing the problem. I need to next um, bring down my walls. All right, since the two in this lane is smaller than the four, obviously I can't multiply four by anything and have it go into the two. So I'm going to do one and two, no dashes. So there needs to be an X right here because there's no dashes. So I have the two dots. I pull that number of the dots over here, cross off the four and drop it down. 24. I know that if I multiply four times six, that will equal 24, even on the nose. So I'm gonna put six in the quotient. Now I have nothing in this lane, no number, no dots to pull over, no number, nothing. Can't even make a dot here, nothing at all. So if you see nothing at all, you put a big nothing at all up in the quotient. You can't do anything with it, it's just, an egg, nothing there. But now I come to this lane where I have eight. I can do four times four, one is four, four times two is eight. That's two dashes. So I put two, two in the quotient. Now, just to make everybody feel better, I am going to go ahead and double check this one, just because I feel like maybe we should. That way we can clear this up if there's any questions. My, my answer in the quotient is 602. I would take 602. I would multiply that by the four right here. I know four times two is eight. Four times nothing is nothing. So I put a zero here. And four times six is 24. 2,408, that is the same number that I got there. So I know that this quotient is correct. Uh, good luck with this, and I'm sure we will be working more on this together. That way we can make sure that we clear up any confusions.